Hello again, children. This week, your parents don't have to print any worksheets for you. It is in the packs that have been provided. We have phonics, creative writing, comprehension, and handwriting to complete. Children, last week we watched a video about the fairy E and how it makes the vowel say its name. We have a few more vowels to do. This week, we're looking at E, which will say E because of the fairy E, and E, which will say I because of the fairy E. The first word is Pete. It is a capital letter because it is a proper noun. The name of a person is Pete. These refers to a group of things. Delete means to remove or erase something. A theme is a topic. You might have a theme for your birthday party. We do themes in the classroom, like seasons or animals. Compete means that it is a, like a competition. You want to be first in a race, so you compete. Eve means the day before. Christmas Eve is the day before Christmas. New Year's Eve is the day before New Year's. If you look at list two, it's the E, which says I. Bite. The word bite is a verb. You take a bite of your sandwich. Dine means to sit down and have a meal. Ride. You can ride your bicycle. You might ride a horse. Spine is at the back. It from, runs from your neck down to your bottom. And it is, holds you upright. Shine. The sun shines brightly during the day. You might shine a light on something. Life. We are very fortunate to be blessed with a good life. Glide. When something floats in the air, a bird can glide through the air. We might say that you glide through the water when you are swimming. Prize is a reward or an award for something that you have done well. If you look at your phonics words, do you realize, grade twos, them becomes theme when you add the a at the end. Bit becomes bite. Din becomes dine. Rid becomes ride. Spin, a completely different word when you add the e, becomes spine. Shin becomes shine. So the magic e really does wonderful things to words. This is another exercise with our phonics words. All of the words are from your spelling list. You need to unscramble the letters to make a word from either list one or list two. So it would either be a word with e and the fairy e or e and the fairy e. Please check your spelling, grade twos. Children, in your pack, there is the worksheet with the letter X as in box or fox. You are going to practice writing each letter. 
there is the small letter or lowercase x. You need to trace the letter and then there is space for you to write the letter. Then you need to trace the uppercase letters and write them as well. Trace the sentence, please. The fox is in the box. You will also find a worksheet with the letters A, B, C, D, all the way to M. Please practice writing those letters. Trace and you can add two more at the end of each line. Use a sharpened pencil, children. In your Simply Phonics workbook, I would like you to revise the phonics sounds sh and ch. You don't have to do all of them on the same day. Use the week and do maybe two pages at a time. It is revision of work that we have done already. Please write neatly in your workbooks. We will be checking when we come back to school. So on your piece of paper or in the book that you are using, you are going to do the comprehension autumn. Remember to write the date, write the heading, number your answers and please answer in full sentences. Autumn. It was cold. Leaves of red, brown and yellow fell from the trees and danced in the wind. Squirrels hid their nuts, ready for winter. Mice curled up to go to sleep until it was warm again. Summer had gone and winter was on the way. It was very cold. Please read the story again before you start to answer the questions, children. Number one, what fell from the trees and danced in the wind? Number two, what color were the leaves? Number three, who hid nuts? Number four, why were they hiding nuts? Number five, what did the mice do? Number six, how long would they sleep? Number seven, was it already winter? And number eight, which season was it? Children, please make sure that you start each answer sentence on a new line. I really like the topic for creative writing, children. I think that when you're a child, there's so much to be happy about. Think about all the things that you are blessed with and use your imagination when doing your creative writing. Use interesting adjectives to make your sentences exciting. Although we are at home doing different things, there are many times in a day when we smile. What makes you smile? Write five to seven sentences about the things that make you smile. It could be your loving family, a phone call from your grandparents or a cousin, a movie that you've watched many times during lockdown, or a lovely book that mum reads to you. Think about those things that make you happy and write lovely sentences about the things that make you smile. That's your creative writing. And I hope that when you've finished, you remember how very special you are and how blessed you are. Children, remember that all the worksheets in your pack will be explained throughout the next few weeks. If there is anything extra, we will let your parents know, but there's nothing that needs to be printed. I want you to stay safe and remember this. Every child is a different kind of flower and all together make this world a beautiful garden.